In this video, we're looking at how to counter the standing guillotine choke. So here, I want to grab my snake this arm in. If, he, if I can stop him before he gets his hands locked, that's ideal. Okay, that's ideal. But he gets him locked, uh oh. So I snake in. If he's got a belt, I'll grab it. Notice I'm grabbing the front of the hip, not deep. Okay, grab it right here. Just we pin. And I'm pushing down with the elbow and I'm pinning this and I'm looking up. Hold tight, hold tight. Okay? Then I'm gonna step in, look up. As I step in, I pull on his belt and I hit him in the solar plexus with my shoulder. So the movement's like this. I have, I have him in the guillotine and he swims his arm in, but he goes too deep. He goes too deep around my waist. Well, then it becomes not a regular guillotine because it just becomes an arm in guillotine. Uh, well, I'll tap him with that. Arm in, grab the front of the belt. I can't turn that into an arm in guillotine unless I let go. You understand? He's destroying, he's taking all the leverage off my choke. But if he goes deeper, okay, cool. It's an arm in guillotine. Okay. So it's, it's, what we're trying to do is we're trying to cross our opponent's forearm with our forearm and make an X and apply downward okay. pressure. So I go in, lock, lock tight, like that. Now I'm applying pressure here, but I'm not going here. So we grab again. Here, I've got the belt, we're applying downward pressure. I'm pinning this, I step in, I throw my head up, turn it over. Swim my arm in, step. From a more wrestling perspective, if you have someone like this and they reach over your shoulder, you're, you're giving them a super deep underhook. Yeah. And I have better leverage than him. I have better leverage. So if he can try to step around me, step around me, if I can try to bump me and take me down, okay, that's a class, sort of a classic commonly taught one. The difficulty with this one is, one, it's hard to step behind people. Two, and more importantly, the second someone reaches over my shoulder, I'm gonna take them down with a cow catcher. Now sometimes, the guillotine, you might hit a wall. So in jiu-jitsu, whenever you hit a wall, go in one direction, where should you go? Usually, the answer is 180 degrees the other direction. Let's say I go in here, boom, ah, hold, it, hold it really tight. I go for it, ah, it didn't work. So where should I go? What's 180 degrees opposite? The way I came in, okay? So I go in, I hit a wall, and even if I can't break his grip, and I can't take the back, and I just try to get posture, but it's not quite enough posture, then I've made space in his grip. And then I can duck out, bob and weave out. Okay? So here, I go in, hold tight, hold tight. Okay, this is the position you then end up in. It didn't work. Watch my head. The bob and weave out. 